Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay, well, first off, congratulations, everybody, on a wonderful show. And my first question would be, uh, for Brie, what did you learn about removing the stigma on menstruation um, that you learned during the process of directing the episode about uh, Claire and Isabel's story? Yeah, well, the, my episode came from a very specific moment where I was on set and um, I needed to use the restroom and I put my tampon in my sleeve. Um, and it was really strange to me. All of a sudden it hit me. I was like, why am I hiding this? Why is this shameful to me? It's like, it happens every month. It happens to every, like so many people all the time. Like, why is this mm -hmm. something that is a big deal? Um, and so I started pushing myself to instead just start like waving it and going like, I need to use the restroom. Um, and I started talking more and more with other people who menstruate and they were like, yeah, I, I feel the same way. And I was like, why? And so getting to unpack that um, was really incredible and getting to unpack it with uh, two young people who were open to sharing their personal experience with it and also share just like the intersection of how many different ways there's ways to feel shame about it, how many different people need access to period products, um, that it's a, it's, it, period poverty is very real um, and the faces of it are sometimes inc incredibly, um, it's unexpected. We don't realize like what a big deal this is. So um, for me, it was a personal, it was a personal thing that turned into something that was much larger and I'm, I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to talk about it. Thank you so much. It was like a beautiful episode. And now I would like to ask Sage, Alex and Emily, um, what are some tools and techniques that young people could use to speak up against something that doesn't make them feel comfortable in their environment? Yeah, I would definitely say um, listening to ourselves. Um, Alex uh, articulated so beautifully that her superpower is listening to her feelings. And I think that that is a superpower that a lot of us learn to suppress in ourselves. And so when we know that something is wrong, whether we feel that it's directly affecting us or someone else, the only way that we can change that is by speaking up and just know that there are so many more people out there who will support you than will not. Um, so continue being yourselves, continue speaking up and continue finding places that make you feel safe and supported. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Emily? Because you dealt with this subject on uh, your episode regarding not feeling comfortable with your environment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think some some tips that I would give to young people when, you know, they don't feel comfortable with um, an environment or a specific situation, I would definitely say like something that was extremely transformative for me was speaking to and connecting with community that was entirely so uh, like incredibly integral to my process of being able to speak up for myself and being able to really um say and you know say what it is that I needed and what it is that I wanted in a safe space and so um I think that was incredible being able to connect with other disabled adults connect with other young disabled adults and that's what I would say to other young people is to really be able to find strength in community thank you so much and Alex during the years where you were starting to feel better after struggling with, the, uh, struggling with depression, what were some signs that you were feeling better, that you were getting there, that you identified? Oh, man, that's a tough question. It didn't <laughs> happen overnight. And even still to this day, I'm getting better in ways that I didn't realize were problematic for me before. But I would say that it was just sort of a lack of these bad thoughts and feelings that I had had before. My urges to um, bring harm to myself, to isolate myself, just gradually started to go away and become less important to me until all of a sudden I realized that they weren't really there anymore. Um, oh. And it's not a process that happens quickly, but it happens. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you all for this. Uh, congratulations on a beautiful show and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.